Today we have a situation whereby the ever cunning ODM party is looking to profit from both sides of the divide. They want one foot in government, one foot in opposition, while Oparanya Mbadi and Joho go on to become cabinet secretaries. This is total conmanship, but nonetheless, others within ODM are being used to cheat Kenyans that ODM is still with them and isn't aware of such transactions of Mbadi and Joho and that they were acting on their own capacity. And I'll give you examples. First up, Babu Owino is pretending that he will continue to be with the people and is subsequently declaring himself the new opposition leader and we all know why he's doing this. He knows the Gen Zs who are majority in Nairobi. Most Gen Zs are in Nairobi, not up country. And they don't want anything to deal with Raila or Ruto. So Babu Wino is being cunning and is branding himself as somebody who is not with the Raila stroke William Ruto camp, which we all know to be false. But either way, here's the tip. Yeah, actually, from today henceforth, I'm the chief opposition leader because there are so many jokes doing rounds. There are so many people who are in the opposition, who are now in bed with the government. My interest is to fight for Kenyans. It pains me. It pains me to see a person who was a fellow member of parliament joining government. And it pains me. Number two, we also have a one Edwin Sifuna, the SG of ODM. He was pretending just yesterday morning on Citizen TV that he does not endorse the appointment of Oparanya, Joho, and Mbadi to cabinet and that they don't have the blessings of ODM. How ironic. Here's a tip. Let me tell you, Trevor, why we were insisting on having a conversation before any of these things happen. Because right now, like Sifuna, I eat, dream, and uh, leave ODM. If today I find myself seated next to uh, Kindiki in cabinet, to discuss what, what are we going to implement? Because a conversation would have happened in which we would have agreed that yeah. first of all, the president is going to rip up his uh, bottom-up manifesto. And then we are going to rip up our Azimio manifesto. We come up with a document that encompasses the beliefs and the, uh, the priorities of both political parties. What, uh, what, what manifesto are these people going to implement? I heard the president very clearly yesterday. He said... He, they are going to implement the bottom-up uh, yeah. transformative manifesto. And yeah. I, I can assure you, but he has no idea what bottom-up means. Because he's a member of ODM. I know him. So for us, we needed to have a conversation first, to have a document that says, yeah. this is what we're going to do and this is the priority areas. For ODM, our priority areas have never changed. We are a pro-people party. We are not going there to talk about all these other things. For instance, uh, Trevor, yeah. I as SG of ODM hold that he, the first thing I would do in government is to roll back all the taxation that has been imposed by this government. Is John Badi going to be able to do that as a, as a cabinet secretary for treasury? Without a framework, without a, a conversation. So, so do they have the blessing of the party? They do not. The position that we gave in the state... Here's the funny thing. He doesn't endorse those people being in the Kenya Kwanza administration, but a few minutes later, he takes a flight all the way to Western for a strategic meeting with who? The UDA Secretary General. Here's the image before you right now. You can see Edwin Sifuna there in his uh, orange tie representing ODM. You can see Cleophas Malala there with his yellow tie representing UDA. How can he say he does not support... Oparanya and his team working in cabinet when he himself is already forming a strategic alliance with the SG of the <laughs> of UDA whom he has never met all this while and suddenly they're having impromptu meetings that doesn't make sense. And now to make it worse this has to be the biggest goon in this list we are looking at today. Awan Kaleba Misi, the MP of Saboti he is lying to Kenyans that Raila was away from the country and came back to discover that his principles had abandoned their posts. That this thing of Oparanya being in cabinet, Joho being in cabinet, Mbadi is a big shocker for Raila. He is not aware. These are traitors. Raila is very angry with them. <laughs> Here's the tip. That indeed the decision by our four comrades were personal and not as a result of any decision passed by the party. We call on the party leadership to move with speed and replace, and replace them. That is the end of the statement. I want to finish by saying that ODM party is like an army. Four of our generals and the brigadiers have deserted duty and they gone to sleep with our enemy. It has no direction from the commander-in-chief, who is Raila Molo Odinga. The party leader was abroad on a private visit only to come back and find four generals and a brigadier have deserted duty and they joined the opposite camp. So we are saying 
this is not the position of the but you know what what to see what jinga we know that all these people were aware beforehand because kaluma said it on the dais of parliament that the names Raila proposed to president william ruto should be approved as soon as possible here's the tip honorable speaker i therefore i therefore want to congratulate the president for the appointment but request the president that within the week as soon as tomorrow we want to see those other appointments baba was to forward to him and, and we want all of them approved and honorable speaker if that can happen then we are going to push this thing very fast we cannot leave anybody out and, and, and honorable speaker speaker let me send a warning we want to tell people sending conflicting positions from the odm to remember that they are on an interim position in those positions we can remove them and when kaluma said that there was thunderous stomping of the feet by all ODM members because they knew they had colleagues even in that parliament including Opio Wandai that are going to serve in the National Assembly. So these people can't come out to lie to us that we were not aware. They're trying to be in opposition, ensure that those who are seeking seats can get them via the Gen Zs and other sympathetic parties while also being in government. This kind of double speak, it's very easy to see through it and as we've just shown, this is all just total conmanship. Although I don't blame them, the conmanship in ODM starts from the very top. Their own boss Raila Odinga is the biggest con I've ever seen. During the Mandamano of Gen Z, Raila came out to say no dialogue. And do you know where he's saying no dialogue from? He's saying it from Mukuru Kwanjenga, where bodies were being pulled from a heap of trash. He used that scandal to lie to the people that no dialogue. And then what does he do after? He jets out of the country the day the president is announcing Joho, Opio Wandai, Mbadi Ngongo, and weekly from Betsa Oparanya. When I tell you ODM is a party of conmanship, I know what I'm saying. I even know of somebody, personally, who was looking for a seat in Transoia using the ODM ticket. It's no small seat. He wanted to become governor of Transoia County. And he won the ODM ticket, paid for it, campaigned for it, paid for billboards and all that, campaigned on the ground, Mamamboga, who, who, who. And Raila came in the last minute to say, stand down. ODM is endorsing George Natembea of DAP. Conmanship through and through. I've given you actual evidence. Anyone who wants to vie with ODM, I don't know. It's very, very tricky in that party. But at the end of the day, guys, that's just my opinion. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. Do you think ODM is a very genuine... Okay, let me put it like this. On a scale of 1 to 10, how genuine do you think ODM party is? Just drop your rating in the comment section. We will collectively do our best to read your commentary. Now, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.